Fishing in Ark is confusing, but it doesn't have to be. While it's one of the most complicated fishing simulations I've ever seen in gaming, you can get some pretty good loot if you're patient. Before we get into the video, I stream every single day on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash terrifierofficial. Come check me out. The first thing you'll need, obviously, is a fishing rod. Next, you'll need some bait. This can be sap, honey, or leech blood, each of which can catch increasingly valuable fish, respectively. We'll go over how to get these resources later, but once you've got your rod and your bait, the last thing you'll need is somewhere to sit on the water. You can use a chair, a bench, a canoe, or a pelagornis, of which I recommend using a canoe or a raft with a chair on it, so you can move around if you need to. Any of these work fine, but you must be sitting down. Once you've gotten the necessary components to fish, you'll have to start looking around for fish in the water. You can catch coelacanth, saber-toothed salmon, and piranhas, all of which can drop quality blueprints, rare resources, and of course, fish meat. It takes a lot of patience, but once you've found the biggest fish in your fishing spots, sit down and cast your line either from your inventory or from your hot bar. Try to cast it as close to your target fish as possible. Then you've just gotta wait anywhere from 20 to 90 seconds for the fish to bite, depending on which bait you're using. Once the fish bites, you'll get this weird mini game where you'll have to press each button that pops up on the screen as quickly as possible, as you only have around 10 seconds to complete the entire mini game. If you press the wrong button or run out of time, your line will snap and the fish will be uncatchable until you leave render distance. It's surprisingly difficult and I snapped my line more times than I'd like to admit. That's pretty much all there is to the actual fishing mechanic, but there is another way to fish in ARC. Fish nets. Fish nets can be used without having to sit down and without having to use bait. However, they won't yield high quality blueprints. What they can give you though are rare resources, similar to fishing. So if rare resources are the reason you fish, consider using a fishing net instead. Beyond that, here are some pro tips you should follow if you're using a fishing rod. It's pretty much a complete waste of time to use a primitive fishing rod if you're looking for loot, especially if you're using official settings. I cranked my fishing loot settings up to 50, which is insanely high, and got an Ascendant Moza platform saddle. I mean, it's good, sure but that took me like 15 minutes to get with a primitive rod. Either way, I strongly recommend looking for loot drops that will give you a chance at finding a better fishing rod, like airdrops with rings around them, cave drops, or deep sea loot crates. The higher the quality, the better the loot you'll get. It should also be noted that while leech blood will probably get you the best loot, if your fish is bigger than 1.88x, your line is guaranteed to snap. This is why you'll need to use honey for any fish bigger than that. I honestly wouldn't even bother with using sap for bait, as it pretty much only yields fish meat, and let's be real, there are easier ways to get fish meat. 9 out of 10 times I'm using honey for fishing because it's reliable, easy to get, and yields decent enough loot. The choice is yours though. Finally, let's talk about where to get these bait types. You can get sap by using a tree sap tap on a redwoods tree, or harvesting specific species of trees that vary from map to map. See the Arc Wiki for more details on that. Honey can be collected from bees' nests or from honey nodes on Fjorder or Valgaro, and leech blood can be harvested from dead leeches. All of these can be difficult to get depending on which map you're playing on, but in my opinion, you should really be going for honey, which can be hard, sure, but like, just go to Fjorder. You'll get infinite honey super easily. Regardless, have fun fishing, and thanks for your time today. We will see you in the next video. Bye!